viewers, this is Dr. Satish Prakash welcoming you to episode 8 in this series of lectures that we describe as Gurukul Sandesh, the message of the Gurukul. And today we are talking about traveling to a certain destination of our choice. And we are asking the question, is there any help we can expect in arriving at this destination that we do not actually know and that we have never seen before. Let us say I'm going to a foreign country to see some of the sites that they have. I know I can have initial help from an airplane that will take me to the place I'm going to. And when I do arrive in the country, I know I can have help from guides, trained guides that will take me from point A to point B and show me the entire place. Now, my destination, my spiritual destination, is the destination of all joy and all peace. Joy that is not mixed with sorrow. We have been saying this again and again. Joy that is free from sorrow, not pleasures that culminate in pain. I want a destination that is not filled with pleasures, but a destination that is filled with all joy, free from all sorrow. And I'm asking myself the question, is there any kind of help? Is there any kind of assistance I can expect? The mantra I'm about to quote from the Yajurved, uh, sheds light on the kind of help that we can expect to have. But the mantra is, <clears throat> and you and I can clasp our palms, Om Agne Naya Supatharaya Asman Vishwani Deva Vayunani Vidwan Yuyodhyasmat Juhuran Ameno Bhuyishthante Namauktim Vidhema I am addressing the cosmic superpower called God. And in this mantra, he is called by the name of Agni. He is called Agni because in his hand is the torch of wisdom and of understanding. And he is Vishwani, Vayunani, Vidwan. He knows all the pathways and he knows where those pathways lead to. So I have been trying to reach this destination that we call happiness free from all sorrow. And I chose many paths before that were all the wrong paths. And while I walked on those wrong paths, I stumbled many times because I have stopped myself against the rocks of lust, anger, greed, infatuation, and vanity. I fell many times. Wrong paths are not paths that you and I can walk on. The right path is the path that allows you free passage from point A where you're traveling from to point B where you're traveling to. So in this mantra, I am addressing a power that, is, that goes far beyond uh, human power. And that power is the divine cosmic superpower that is responsible for designing the universe and maintaining, preserving the universe. And one day he will transform this universe. That power has many, many names, one of which is Agni. And his name is Agni in this mantra from the Yajur Ved for the simple reason that he has the torch of wisdom in his hand. So I'm asking him, God, I'm asking him Agni Naya. Naya means lead me on. I ask that you lead me on because many times I tried to travel on my own without any spiritual GPS and without any guide. And the path is filled with darkness. And the path is filled with rocks of lust, anger, and greed. Darkness and lust and anger and greed have not allowed me free passage to my destination. In addition to which, the path, the path that I have chosen would not lead to that destination. So God, because you are Vishwani, Vayunani, Vidwan, because you know all the pathways, and you know which one path is the valid path, uh, that is called Supatha in this verse. You know the one path that is the valid path that will lead me to where I go. I ask you, Naya, take my hand. Take my hand, O oh God, and you lead me on. I cannot lead myself. I'm so limited in my understanding. The light in my mind is so limited. I cannot see where I'm walking. But because I fall many times, 
Because I stop myself and harm myself, I can only conclude this is the wrong path. So I talk to you, O God, with my palms clasped, and I say, Agane, O God, with the torch of wisdom, Naya, lead me onwards, Supatha, by the path that is easy to walk on. Agane, Naya, Supatha, Raye, Asman. Why do I call upon you? Because Vishwani Deva. Vayunani Vidwan. Vayunani means pathways. And Vishwani means all of them. And Vidwan means you know. You know all the pathways. I will go to no one else. Because in as much as that someone else may have knowledge much more than I possess, he doesn't have the sum totality of knowledge. And he doesn't know himself where to go. How can he lead me? Agne Naya Supathar Ayasman. Vishwani Deva Vayunani Vidwan Yuyo Dhyasmat Johorana Meno And God, I seek to, to hold on to the helm of your coat. I don't want to be lost again. In all my previous transmigrations, in all my previ previous reincarnations, in all my previous lives, I have been led astray because of, of limited understanding and not knowing where to go. Master God, you lead me onward. And you know what? You know what uh, What got me caught up in the alluring lights of the world? Because I have hypocrisy and fraud and flawed understanding. Take me away from all flawed understanding. Take me away from all wrong thinking. Take me away from anything that would make my mind corrupt and take me away from the path of rectitude, God. Take me away. Take me away, Master Yoyodhi. Alakkardo. Take me away. Yoyodhi Asmat Johorana Mena. Take me away from all uh, remnants of thinking that still borders on hypocrisy, fraud, and flawed thinking. And so that I may not let loose of the helm of your coat. Bhuishthante Namautim Vidhema. Let me sing your praises and offer you words of salutation again and again, more and more, so I can be conscious, limited as I am, I can be conscious that I'm holding on to your coat and I will never let go. Because if I let go, you will keep moving on. You never take away my freedom of will. You would never violate my freedom of will. You give me the freedom to choose for myself and all my choices so far have been wrong, O oh God. In this moment when I'm expressing my bhakti and my devotion to you, Master, I am saying I will never give up holding on to the helm of your coat and to remind myself that you are leading me, I will always sing your praises. I will say, Nirabalake prana pukara rahe, Jagadisha hare, Jagadisha hare. I will say, O oh God, that the breath of the weak and the meek and the downtrodden and the marginalized people of this world, they keep calling out to you, Jagadish hare, Jagadish hare. They say, Hail unto you, O Master, Hail unto you, O Master. And I will say the same thing. And I wouldn't say it one time, I wouldn't say it just two times. I will say it, Bhuish tham means I again and again, more and more. Bhuishthante namauktim. Namauktim means words of salutation and praise. I will surrender to you, God, words of salutation and praise. So brothers and sisters, many times you hear people say they don't believe in religion because religion is what takes them. Religion confuses people, they say. In, front, in fact, one great uh, philosopher in the West, I wouldn't call his name, he said religion is the opium of the masses in that it dulls your senses. But I tell you based on Vedas, based on Rishi Dayan in Saraswati, that religion is a very beautiful thing. Religion makes you smile in the face of challenges. Religion makes you, religion fills a sparkle in your eyes and conviction in your voice because you are aware of the watchful presence of the supreme being. Call it God, call it Om, call it whatever name you want to call, but he is a supreme being and we are his children and he watches over us the way a mom at home or a dad at home would do, O oh mankind. And that being so, when you praise him, you're not praising him for his sake. He's complete in every way. He doesn't want your praises. But when you praise him, you praise him for your own self. 
because in praising him, you become conscious of him. And when you're conscious of him leading you, you would never want to give up the hold, the grasp that you have on the helm of his coat. So this is Dr. Satish Prakash bringing to you another mantra, uh, episode eight, uh, that, and all these episodes make up what we call Gurukul Sandesh. The, as the message of the Gurukul, we as a Gurukul are located here in Jamaica, Queens, New York City. You can, you can, come, you can call me, you can get hold of me on WhatsApp and, and Facebook, uh, the numbers, you can see them. You can come to the physical locality here in Jamaica, Queens. Uh, 93-37150th Street in Jamaica, Queens, New York, 11435. Or you can visit us online, www.adiasamashtoday.com. There's so many ways you can contact us if you feel the need to connect with these short broadcasts that tell, that tell you something that would refresh your entire spirit. So with these words, we say namaste and may God bless you. See you in episode number nine.